Yo, what's up? It's your boy Pac Jr. And what I got for you guys today. It, it is basically our next installment to our gun bunch tight end ebook now i'm telling you right now this gun bunch tight end the more that i dabble in it the more that i realize just how freaking glitchy it is before i do anything actually a lot of you are wondering how do you block one four six how do you block the three four blitz meta the show meta we will talk all about how to stop and how to block all of those i just want to give you the base foundations right the cover three beaters the cover two beaters and everything we can do and cover two is just not good versus this there is a couple of things that's very very important to know and I want to be able to kind of talk about this a little bit more in depth now one thing I forgot to mention y'all and I'll talk about it in a moment is one play in particular for the cover three beaters but nonetheless let me go ahead and come out in a cover two because this video now is going to be dedicated to beating cover two coverages the last video was on cover three and I know a lot of you have been asking me hey Pac, Pac Jr. How do you beat 146? How do you beat the 3 4 blitzes? I will show you. Just hold on. That'll be installment number three. So let's go ahead and come out into our cover two. Now, first play I'm going to come out in is PA boot over because this is just something that we talked about previously. One thing I wanted to show you real quick before we go on is let me run cover three hard flats. If you run cover three hard flats and you put this little corner route, and ingram on this wheel route so y a right stick to the right and they play hard flats the reason i didn't go over this in the previous video is because you're not going to get a lot of people who play hard flats anymore just with the way purples are you're going to be able to fit this right there every single time right so just know that's universal gun trips tied in uh any any defense with a tight end that's on that side you can do that just keep that in mind all i wanted to say was that right there so anyways let's go ahead and hop into our cover two concepts what i want to show you is i'm going to streak both these guys real quick let me go ahead and streak both of these right here now me personally i want to just remind you i would have streak specialist post flag elite and tight end apprentice on kittle and then i'd obviously have streak specialist post flag elite and you know slot apprentice on this middle receiver right here Okay, so what I want to show you is if you put both of these on streaks and this whole offense is predicated on this right here. And I want you to start thinking about this. This is something I realized not pretty much nobody ever talks about in tutorial guides that I really want to cover every time. So I want you to think about what is an area that your user has to guard? Well, your user has to guard corner routes because the clouds don't play them very well or they might then just try to man this guy up and hope that these two will play them long enough right but anyways back to my point here let me go ahead i believe let me go ahead and uh, reset the play what if they use her martinez well we'll talk about that in a moment what if they use her burks we'll talk about that in a moment but you know corner routes are always going to get open so no matter who your opponent users they need to be in charge of corner routes they have to get that themselves which is where they're going to start to leave holes on the offense so for example let's say that they use martinez this is 99 percent of what players do who run a stock cover two because they don't know how to beat it all you can do is put two streaks on the field and then when you hike the ball, you can pass lead it inside. This is universal in gun trips tied in, gun bunch, any formation. You just put the two streaks on the field like this and user comes in. Again, I, I can't stress enough how many times a user will come in, stand in a gap to be like, I'm going to make the blitz come in better. But nonetheless, these two streaks right here are going to get open versus a cover two no matter what these are very simple concepts i usually save this concept until like the fourth quarter i don't like to throw too many streaks on the field unless i'm in the critical third down and the d line is shedding me but if they don't use the mid read well they got to be in charge of that now what else would i do well if they're on martinez with this pa boot over if i put kittle on a streak let me go ahead and block the running back for a moment right now i'm gonna go ahead and put b on a hitch route like this i can hit y rb put this guy on a wheel route totally up to me right i can put him on a wheel route i'll talk about this wheel route concept in a moment though but let's just say i want to run something like this right here i'm going to motion out more you know just your standard setup double team this guy id this guy in a fourth down lineman set and then if they're using martinez i just want to show you what's going to happen they if they use martinez they have to be in charge of i'm going to lowball this they have to be in charge of this post right here if they don't use a martinez right this mid read will actually play the post so if they use a martinez i'm going to spam this play because i know for a fact it's going to look something like that 
And the reason why, now if I want to, I can motion over B. And obviously Martinez is there, but now I can attack the basically that little middle of the field that the user has vacated. We know they're using Martinez. Now, what if they don't use a Martinez and the user Burks? Let me go ahead and show you this setup just so that you can see that against a stock cover two, this mid read will actually follow this post. Just know that that's actually kind of something unique is that this mid read will follow the post. Look at that, right? And then everything is low key kind of backed, obviously. We can always take off if they're not going to put a spy on the field and they're not going to allocate their players into spying them. But you can see pretty much that in this particular cover two setup, it's really dependent on who they want to use. Let's say they go to user Burks, right? How can we put this user in conflict? I might streak more like this. Put, I might put this concept on the field just to basically force my opponent to guard Kittle for a moment. And then more should be open depending on what the mid read does. Obviously, I want to show you how the mid read is going to look versus this. You can see the mid read does a pretty good job. I can motion and snap him here, there, right, etc., etc. Hitch route is going to get open. Let me show you the replay. Obviously, this is a little bit of more of a riskier play because, you know, the user has to guard Kittle. If not, you can pass lead this inside. And you're going to be able to pick this up every time. So your user has to commit. And then we can throw this hitch route right away. So we're going to attack the part of the field that the user is on and then the cloud flat will come down if you throw this too late so you already know this is just a little concept to be able to attack your opponent put them in conflict with the streak and this little hitch route and they're going to use her that linebacker right there but nonetheless let's talk about a setup that i think is just going to be a little bit better versus uh cover two if they use her martinez i'm going to show you just a really nice cover two concepts that attack cover two strategically and kind of systematically so that you have a way to go down the field and attack your opponent every time let me show you at least a nice cover two bomb we're gonna hit y a i'm gonna put him on a corner route y b i'm gonna put him on a drag route like this y y left stick to the left i'm gonna put him on a corner route so it's gonna have two corner routes a drag as a check down and then this right here and again this is gonna only work if your opponent is on a usering martinez these two corner routes are gonna pull the safeties out and you're gonna get a really nice soft window to hit more. And the whole purpose of this is for this uh, drag route to basically occupy the user momentarily. So there it is, you can see he occupies them and then you can pass lead this right here and then we're off to the races and we're gonna be able to pick up 20 yards. So a really nice little concept to basically attack your opponent if you know that they're in a cover two and they're using Martinez. You got the drag, again, usually they get occupied with the drag and then you're going to roll out over here and then you're going to be able to throw this right here and look how far the safeties get spread out from these two corner routes that's going to give you a really good timing to throw this ball right here and you never have to worry about this vertical hook over there playing uh him because it's like i said this will always get open look how open that is post flag elite you're gone to the races so if you want to hit your opponent with a cover two and you know they're using martinez i mean go ahead and take advantage of that so that's going to take care of that right there now let's go ahead and transition to our next concept which is curl flat corner curl flat corner is pretty glitchy it has a really deep corner route that i want to talk about this corner route is really really nice now this corner route is going to get much more open you know again if they, let's say they want to use their amos or somebody like this right here now if i want to run this corner route to this side right here let me go ahead and streak uh more put brown on a hitch route let me block the running back, put Kittle on a trail route. So you just go to him and it's gonna be the left stick to the left. That's gonna be the trail con route concept like this. And I think you get a really nice little flood concept. Let's go ahead and double team this guy right here. Hopefully he gets double teamed. There it is. And then uh, we go around. You can see why gets wide open. This is a literally 30, 40 yard bomb versus cover two. So let's go curl flat corner like this. Okay, here we go. Let's put him on a let's put him on a hitch route. Let's go ahead and double team this guy. I'm gonna go ahead and ID this guy right here, put him on a streak. And then again, you're gonna see this is just absolutely money. This corner route is so deep and it just gets so wide open versus your stock cover two uh corner routes it's very very deep and again it's really hard to play you don't even need a streak you could streak uh thomas by the way put more on an out route something like this real quick let me go ahead and put the trail concept like this again i'm gonna double team this guy right here boom do this this right here like this boom you can see that this uh let's go ahead and throw this right there cross body 
This out route is basically going to glitch the cover two every time. Let me show it to you on the replay real quick. You see, it's very effective, man. This is tough. Look at this. Boom, boom. Look how deep this corner route is. And you can low ball this, by the way. Low balling this is actually better because you get the biggest spacing in the world. Boom. Right there it is. Boom. You can see how wide open it's going to be. Now, again, you know, your opponent might... Let's say they man him up. Let's go ahead and use our Martinez now, right? Let me go ahead, put in a streak, put him on a hitch route. Like, uh, let's go, oh yeah, curl flat corner, streak, hitch route, trail route. You know, there it is. You know, to make everything look the same, let's motion out more for a moment. And let's do something like this. Boom, you're gonna see that he's gonna get manned up, but it doesn't really matter because usually the corner route is gonna be deep enough, but you're gonna notice that, you know, if they got somebody there that's really fast, somebody who can keep up with your middle receiver, you know, they might do a good job of bagging this corner route. So if you look though, now, now you can throw this route right here and this will get open every time, right? And then you got the hitch underneath. The hitch is there, the user has to stay there, and then Kittle's gonna get open, right? Kittle will 100% get open. As long as he crosses his vertical hook, he's gonna get open on this deep corner. Again, your user has to basically stick with that right there, and they gotta trust that they can take care of that corner route. Now, if your opponent wants to, you know, basically man this guy up, oops, I don't wanna press because the clouds are gonna play terribly. Hold on real quick. Again, we can put a streak on the field right now, and then I'm going to just for now, okay, run the same concept that I talked about, but now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna manually put him on a corner route. So we're gonna hit YY, go to our middle receiver, left stick to the left, let's put him on a corner route. This is gonna be much sharper, and I'm gonna motion out more. I think this just helps out with the timing, so check this out. And then the corner route is much, much deeper. It's still gonna get over the cloud, but it's a little bit iffy, so if people do that, we will need to attack them in different ways. So. Let's go to our next setup. How do we attack somebody who maybe wants to man up to this guy right here? Now, the last and final thing I wanna say is against the cover too, just so you know, I'm gonna go to inside switch now. Let's go ahead and go over to inside switch. I can put RB on a wheel route. Just know this is just your standard cover two setup and I can throw this here, pick up eight yards. Okay, I didn't talk about that because that's just kind of standard. I think most of you would know I'm trying to come up with creative schemes, but how do we attack somebody who maybe is manning up this guy right here? And then let's say they're back in user in Martinez. Now, if you look at this inside switch, it looks pretty tough, right? It doesn't look that great. Obviously, I told you the concept we can do to this side, but if people wanna get over adjusting, I'm gonna put Kittle on a streak. I'm gonna block my running back, okay? Just like that. I'm, oh, sorry, not Kittle on a streak. I'm gonna hit Y, A. I'm gonna put him on a post route. That's actually gonna be when you go to his adjustments, left stick down on the D pad. So we're gonna put him on a post route. I'm gonna go ahead and streak Michael Thomas, I'm gonna get rid of him, right? If they wanna man him up, we're gonna streak him. That's basically two players are gone because this guy's gonna go back, this guy's gonna go back. So now we're vacating a big part of the field, just like that. Now I'm gonna put uh, Brown on a drag. So we got a streak, a drag. The drag is there to help pull Jahir down that corner on the right side. If you look at this play now, this play is absolutely money versus people who are trying to get over adjusting, man up a corner, man up this man of that and then check how this is going to look like right here boom right i'm going to go this way and you can see that x will get open every single time versus a cover two it's going to get open every time y'all i can't stress this enough we're going to go to inside switch i'm going to block my running back i'm going to go ahead and drag michael thomas i'm um, sorry i'm going to streak him i want to streak michael thomas because i want to essentially uh, get him out of the way with his man up and he's going to pull the safety out the way like this now if i know they're using martinez i'm going to put brown on a hitch route because I know your opponents in this middle field and they're gonna have to go and guard one of these two crossing routes so this hitch is just gonna give me a check down to be able to get so let's go ahead and do this and let me show you how this is gonna look like if they say they stood there for the check down right boom check this out X is gonna get wide open boom you can pass lead it right there you get a really nice window B is gonna get open if they stay there and then you can see that the crossing route to the other side, you know, is also going to get uh, somewhat open. It actually depends. The clouds are actually doing a good job of covering this, by the way. This cloud is actually doing a really great job of covering uh, this, this post by 
the tight end. So we'll, we can attack that side in a moment. And if they want to use our safety, all right, I'm going to talk about real quick. If they want to use our safety like this, right? Let's say, you know, they put a cover three right here and they're going to use her the safety. Come down here. I'm going to put him in a spy. Let's come back out in um, PA boot over. If they're going to use her as safety, well, then this is what we're going to do right here. Okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead, put him on a post route like this. I'm going to motion over one of these guys. I usually will motion Brown over. Let's motion them all the way over here. I'm going to go ahead and put him on a comeback route like this. I'm going to go ahead and put Thomas on a hitch route. I might put him on an out route, right? I'm going to do a couple of different setups like this. Boom, boom, boom. And basically what I want to do is I want to attack the user. I might even put Thomas on a streak. Just basically bomb him. If they're going to use her to safety, let's take advantage of that and put more on his regular stock play from PA boot over. That way, you know, the user's here. And then I can be able to absolutely bomb X across the field right there. You can see X was going to get wide open. We can bomb him. I just got sacked. And you're going to see right here that you get a nice little check down. So look over here. Boom. Right. You can see that he's going to get open. Right. The user has to guard this. He's going to stay stand here so you can throw it to him because the cloud's going to come down and then you got the bomb over on this side if he's really really fast the user won't get there in time so that's if your opponent uses a safety we're going to do a lot of concepts to put your safety in conflict and last but not least i will show you this i'm going to they're going to use their safety i'll go curl flat corner i'll put this guy on a corner route like this okay I'm gonna go ahead streak more. I'm gonna motion over Brown and I'm gonna put him on a streak like this. That way your opponent is gonna have to, one of these are gonna get open and then they basically you can see that B is gonna get open and then they vacate the corner on the left side of the field. Obviously if we have, you know, uh, escape artists and we can double team, we can roll out. But I will run this concept because I already know this corner route will get open if it's a cover three. And then if they don't, this is gonna get open and then you already know this corner route is gonna get open that you can and throw so then your opponent has to basically they lose as long as you got time in the pocket you'll get one of these right here so hopefully you guys enjoyed a pretty in-depth guide to cover too with that being said i'm now take care capiche